Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today, we're going to be talking about the EH Pro K-Fun Light Plus. Sexy, sexy beast here, people. I threw the all clear tank on here. When we get up close and personal, I'll show you the different options you can go with the EH Pro version of the K-Fun Light Plus. Um, I previously did a review on the Tobacco uh, K-Fun Light, and that's the one I'm going to be giving away, but uh, like I mentioned, there were some issues I had with the K-Fun that definitely made it not my favorite uh, atomizer out there. Uh, you know, I, I talked about how uh, my reasons for why the Typhon I felt was a better uh, RBA overall, but now that I have the EH Pro version, I'm kind of rethinking my whole ideas on the K-Fun, people. My biggest issue with the Tobacco version was the juice channels. They were, they're horrible. I mean, let's just be straight. They're not good. I apologize to the person that's going to win that thing, but hopefully, you know, if you follow my video on how to rebuild it, you'll have no issues as far as dry hits or, you know, uh, flooding is concerned. Because I did figure out how to dial it in just perfect. This one, though, the rebuild on this is slightly different uh, and doesn't involve as much work because it has good wicking. So you're not going to get dry hits, and I haven't had any issues thus far. I cleaned this thing up and built it yesterday, and it's been running fantastic. Again, I threw the all clear tank on there. Really digging the look of that. I, I believe they even have top piece maybe you can pick up. Beautiful thing about the K-Fun, there are so many, uh, you know, things you can do to, to change it. You can make it a dripper, you can do the all clear version, they got the all stainless steel, they got the stainless and the clear. Lots of options, people. And now they've got gold and black and brass and everything you can imagine under the sun. Um, but I thought it looked kind of cool, especially with the Astro clone, just the kind of clear setup. I don't know. Looks kind of industrial or something. I dig it. Um, again, when we dive up close, I'll show you the various uh, parts that you can swap out. Uh, it did come with, you know, a little screwdriver, but a bunch of stuff. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get up close, obviously. Let's see how she vapes. Again, it's on the Astro. Not bad, not bad at all. I got the AC running, so clouds are going to dissipate a little quicker than usual, but uh, it's hot in Portland today, so we got to run the AC. All right, we'll fire it up again. I got no complaints. Again, you're not going to get the same vapor as like a dripper, but as far as like on the go travel, you know, vaping, I am digging this setup. Um, you know, I'm getting plenty of vapor. Again, I got my AC running, so that, you know, is going to play a part in, in uh, making the clouds go away. But uh, overall, I mean, it's hitting great. The flavor's great. I did a 1.2 build microcoil in here, and it is a warm vape, people. Um, this thing has a lot of pluses over the tobacco version. And again, I'm going to talk about it when we dive up close, but overall, I think you should get this thing. I really dig it. Um, it hits fantastic. You know, it was really easy to build. The threading was really nice. So this is kind of everything I hoped the Tobacco K-Fun was going to be, but this is. So if you are thinking about getting a K-Fun, go the EH Pro route. I mean, for a clone. Um, you know, if you watch Vaping with Twisted's channel, he does a side-by-side uh, -side comparison with the uh, legit K-Fun versus the clones. And, you know, overall, uh, with the EH Pro in mind, there, there really isn't that much of a difference, people. Um, you know, that's coming from people who have used both. Uh, I have not ever come in contact with a legit uh, K-Fun, but, you know, watching other reviewers, uh, I'm not seeing too much different. Uh, Matt from Suck My Mod did say he believes the legitimate K-Fun is definitely better, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, obviously, I can't afford, you know, a $200 atomizer or whatever the hell it's going for, but I can't afford 30 bucks for the EH Pro version, which for me is working fantastic. So we'll fire this up again. I'm digging this setup. Oh, so nice. All right, let's dive up close with this thing, and uh, we'll explain a little more about what's going on. All right, we got the K-Fun from EH Pro all pulled apart here. I'm using the plastic tank. I was going to show you. It came in a really nice box. Got all kinds of options. Like I said, you can go uh, with your completely stainless tank. You can do stainless with a clear tube. 
you know, all kinds of options there. It came with a <clears throat> bunch of extra uh, gaskets, uh, came with some wires, some silica wick. So yeah, really happy with the presentation. Happy with all the extra stuff they threw in. I bought an ohm reader, but it's a piece of shit. Uh, it was 20 bucks, so I don't know why it was such a piece of shit. Uh, it looked bigger online, but it doesn't work. So I got myself a new 510 stand for 20 bucks. Woohoo! Fingers crossed we can get a refund. All right, oh, before I do that, I want to show you. Um, it's got a, uh, the adjustable airflow on the Tobacco is actually on the side, but for this one, uh, it's on the bottom, and it's got the, oh, come on, I'm gonna focus. It says made in Germany. It's got the K-Fun symbol on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a direct rip off here, people. And uh, again, there's your uh, adjustable airflow. I've got it all the way, I didn't pull it out, but it's all the way open. And then right here is actually where you would uh, put in your juice. So a lot of you already know that, but for those of you who don't, we'll just take it out real quick and show you what's going on. I actually like this way more than the uh, Tobacco also, where the juice thing is. They put a gasket on the screw, which is really nice. It helps, uh, you know, so you don't actually strip out the screw. And look at how nice and deep they, they, you know, it's recessed really nice in there. So really good little spot. It's actually a lot easier to put juice in this one than the tobacco. So we'll just put that back on for now. But yeah, you want to fill up through the bottom uh, just because uh, you kind of can screw up the uh, the pressure with the, uh, the vacuum seal that the K-Fun uses to wick. So if you fill up from the top, uh, you can risk flooding. All right, I'm not gonna rebuild the coil. It's coming in at, I think it was 1.2. All right, so we'll grab some cotton here. You don't need a ton of cotton with this sucker, but you know, good enough amount. Uh, not, not so much as it's gonna distort your coil, but um, good enough to where uh, it's not gonna flood on you. You all know how well I do at rebuilding stuff on film, so fingers crossed here. All right, that looks about, about right. Oops. Stay on there. Okay, we'll kind of get it up like that there and throw this top cap on. I'll just snip some off now, actually. All right, and with the uh, Tobacco version, I actually kind of stuck the wick down in the channels ahead of time. With this one, you don't have to do that. Um, I'll just cut the wick a little bit above it, but not much. Uh, you don't need a ton down there. And then when you stick it down in the channels, just make sure you don't stuff it down in there. You kind of want to get it in there nice and gentle like to where it's touching but not, you know, plugging up the juice channels. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Pre-wet my whistle here. Again, you don't need to get crazy with the juice when you pre-wet this thing, because uh, you might end up flooding it. K-Fun can be a kind of a pain in the ass if uh, if you haven't built it before, so just keep that in mind. It's, it's a good learning curve for sure. Okay, <clears throat> so the plastic tank just goes right back on like such. Again, all the threading is actually really nice, even on the plastic, so I was very surprised. Whoops, forgot this part. Probably should put that on first. <laughs> Whoops, getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so what are some of the specs? Well, it's a 22 millimeter diameter at the base. It holds 4.5 milliliters of juice. So you got a good amount of storage for your juice. Um, can't remember what the contacts are. Uh, maybe one of you knows what the EH Pro actually uses, whether it's like nickel plated or what, or if it's actual 
it's actual uh, silver, or, well, that's not silver, but you know what I'm saying. If it's straight up the real metal, or if it's just plated, or what, I'm not sure. One of you may know... Okay, I'll just slap this top cap back on. Sorry, I got a little bit of juice on my hands here, so... Makes everything just a wee bit more difficult. Really nice gaskets on this thing. Very happy with this purchase. Very happy. All right. And we did it. That is the EH Pro K-Fun Light Plus. We'll get back to the review. That was our up close and personal shot of the EH Pro K-Fun Light Plus. Again, I threw the all clear tank on here. I'm digging it. I like to look at it. Um, yeah. Two thumbs up from the Atheist Vapist. Um, you know, it's still a toss up between what I like more, the Typhon or the K-Fun. The K-Fun is definitely sexier, okay? It looks nicer, it fits on more mods better. You know, it's got the 22 mil uh, diameter versus the 23. So there are some definite pluses. You know, the, the Typhon's kind of bulky and kind of big. The K-Fun is just sleek and sexy. I mean, this, it's like a match made in heaven right here, people. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about this thing except go get it. I highly recommend picking this up. I will definitely be getting more stuff from EH Pro in the future. Very impressed with what they've done here. Um, you know, I've got no complaints thus far. So, two thumbs up from the Atheist Vapist. Uh, yeah, EH Pro, you did a kick ass job. So, thank you. Thank you for making the K Fun worthwhile to me because the Tobacco one was driving me nuts. Um, you know, I am actually going to be using this quite a bit. Uh, generally, I only use my dripper at home, but. I've been liking the vapor production and the flavor in this so much that I've actually been vaping on this at home too. So, I don't know, maybe I do like this more than the Typhon now. This might just be my new travel vape. Um, you know, I do like the fact that the Typhon though, you can just pull the coil out and, and re-wick and all that without having to drain it. Whereas this, you do have to drain your juice before you can go that route. Um, but, you know, some of the other things like the, the refill on here compared to the, the tobacco version, so nice, really nice recess hole, but you know, I talked about all that when we dove up close. So anyway, enough of that. I say get it, run out there and buy it right now. You need it, you need this thing. It's it's a wonderful K-Fun, uh, perfect RBA, really easy to rebuild. So uh, definite pluses, I highly, highly recommend it. And the fact that it comes with three different tank options, I mean, it's like you got three atomizers in one, people. So yeah, again, two thumbs up, go buy this thing. It's hitting fantastic. Yeah, no complaints, people. I'm highly digging this thing. Really glad I picked this up. Thank you to my viewers who suggested the EH Pro version, especially my buddy Ben Cole. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for looking out. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, again, two thumbs up. Go get this, people. Uh, oh, yeah, wanted to let you all know, we're getting really close to 500 subscribers, and by the time I post this, it might already be there. So, I've talked to Rose City Vapesters. We've worked some stuff out. After I do my giveaway this weekend for my two mods, we're going to do another giveaway for the MVP 2.0. We're going to throw in an atomizer on top of that for my 500 subscriber giveaway. And I'll post all the details on how to enter uh, either Sunday or Monday following my current giveaway. So it's going to take a little work from your part. Uh, basically, you're going to have to go like Rose City Vapesters page and uh, you know be a subscriber. So that's basically it. So. Fairly simple. Uh, again, you are going to have to enter on my Facebook page to be able to be in the giveaway. Um, but we'll see if we can get a dope atomizer thrown in too. So for right now, it's definitely the MVP too. Um, so yeah, something to look forward to, people. Uh, again, we're, we're going to announce the rules come Sunday or Monday. So not too far away. All right. Peace and love, YouTube. Uh, thank you again for watching. Make sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'm out.